Okay. Okay. All right, good day, yogis. This is Stephen Chang coming to you live from Simha Yoga Lab in Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the full streaming schedule, as well as my payment information for Venmo and for PayPal. Venmo is my preferred way of payment, and my handle is Simha Yoga Lab, and the four-digit ID code is 8096, if you're prompted for verification. I am streaming on Instagram and on Facebook, and then the videos are uploaded to my YouTube channel, Simha Yoga Lab. Please visit any of those platforms for class anytime. If you're thinking about coming to the studio for in-studio practice, make sure you go to the website again, look for the text in pink, and those are the instructions on how to pre-register for class. You do need to sign the waiver as well as um, e, sorry, download the waiver and also e-sign the waiver to reattach to your pre-registration email. So make sure you follow the instructions and you do that. Very important for um, liability as well as contact tracing. Today's class is open slow, is level one, level two. If you have any injuries, um, please be mindful to modify as you need or skip poses as uh, necessary. If your hips are tight, elevate and sit up on a block or a blanket. Okay. You have hamstring issues today. We'll do some gentle stretches. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. And you're okay today. Okay. Palms face up. Fingers come to Gyana Mudra, thumb and index fingers touching. And with your eyes closed, start to center the breath. Deep inhales and exhales through the nose. Three arms together, inhale. Um. 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 Keeping the eyes closed, hands together in prayer on front of the heart, pressing the thumbs into your heart, heart back into the thumbs, lifting the heart up towards the sky, setting your intention for yoga practice, devoting your practice to someone or something or to yourself, your supreme self that lives within your heart, chanting the mantra for purification, purifying the space in which you practice yoga, call and response. Om ma pavitra ha, Om ma pavitra ha, pavitra wa, pavitra wa, sarva vashta, sarva vashta, tatopi wa, tatopi wa, yaha smari, yaha smari, pundri kaksham, pundri kaksham, sapakya, Sapahya, Pihyendraha, Pihyendraha, Suchihi, Suchihi. Beginning to open the eyes and let the palms face up. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, right ear to the right shoulder, right hand to the left side, elongate to the left side of the neck. Draw the chin toward the right shoulder. Release, back to center, drop the right hand, left ear to the left shoulder, left hand to the right side. Chin toward the left shoulder. Release, back to center, drop the left hand, chin toward the chest. Big circles with the head in one direction, ear to one side, roll of time. Opposite side, roll of center. A few more rounds at your own pace. And take the chin back to center and pause. And then taking the opposite direction. And then back to center again. 
Lift the chin parallel to the floor and reach your spine coming off your blocks and extend the legs forward, separating your feet. And to supporting to either side. And turn your toes toward each other and then roll out. Draw in, roll out, draw in. Take out a rotation, circling the ankle. Back to center, switch them around in a rotation. And back to center again. Cross your shins and take the opposite shin on top. Raise the arms up high, extend, twist to the right. Right hand behind you, left hand to the right knee. Inhale, back to center, arms up. Exhale, twist to the left. Back to center again, side bend. Right hand down, left arm overhead. Take it back up, other side. Back to center again, legs forward. Forward fold. Take it back up. Keep the left leg extended. Draw the right heel back. Legs are roughly 90 degrees. Left hand to the floor, right arm is up and fold over the left leg. So keep a slight bend to the knees as you fold forward, just to give your hamstrings a little bit of a relief. It's that one. But you want to do both sides, right? Just to be symmetrical. Inhale, take back up, keep the legs as they are. Counter twist to the right. Stay twisting to the right, lean over your left leg and reach your right arm over, extending right side stretch. If you have more extension and can find the hand to the foot, go ahead and take it. Inhale, take it all the way back up. Keep the legs as they are and counter twist to the left. Good, back to center. Swing the right leg forward, left heel back. 90 degrees with your legs, the best you can. Right hand to the floor, left arm is up, inhale, lengthen, exhale, folding forward. All right, for those of you at home, if you are experiencing any kind of pain to your hamstrings, right, or kind of pre-existing injury, make sure that when you fold forward that you don't overextend the hamstrings, right? You can always bend the knees a little bit to take a forward fold, and that includes any kind of forward folding like this. All right, inhale, take it back up. Keep the legs as they are. Count uh, twist to your left. Stay twisting, side bending over the right leg. Reach your left arm overhead to extend. You may stay here extending or grab the right foot with your left hand and finding that bind. Start to release, come back up, keep the legs as they are, and twist to the right. Draw back to center, swing the left leg forward, soles our feet together, knees apart, grab the ankles, Baddha Konasana, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold forward. Now, if you want to press your elbows to your inner thighs to get more hip opening, go ahead. And draw back up. Let the heels come forward just a little bit. Shift back toward the sacrum and raise your heels. All right, and then take the hands together and press. Now keep the left heel down and the right heel up. 
and then you're going to switch left leg on top. Switch right leg on top. Switch left, switch right, left, right, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Stay here. Raise your left heel to match your right, and then lower the heels almost all the way down, and then lift. Lower and lift. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Lower all the way down. Again, Baddha Konasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, take it back up, step the feet to the floor, grab the back of the legs, and again, come back to another balance. Good. Once you're balanced, extend the arms forward. Lengthen. And then. Lengthen. Then. Lengthen. Then. Four. Then. Five. Then. Six, bend, seven, bend, eight, bend, nine, bend, ten, bend. Slide the legs forward, arms up, and fold. All right, so these forward folds, after we do that core work, it's nice to just stretch your lower back and release. Take it back up again, lower on to your foot. All right, keep the chest lifted. Legs together, draw the knees in. Slide the legs out and keep the feet close to the floor. Draw the knees in. Slide the legs out. Knees in. Slide. Four. Slide. Total ten. Five. Slide, six, slide, seven, slide, eight, slide, nine, slide, ten, slide and hold, five, four, three, two, one, lower all the way down, bridge pose, walk your heels in, feet are back hip switch. With your fingertips, feel for the back of the heels, then press your heels down and lift your feet. And that'll give you a nice stretch. Good, to the hips, um, the flexors, so out. Good. Then keep the left heel down and draw the right knee up and raise your right leg up toward the sky. Good. And hold it. Flex your right foot strongly. Then point the right toes. Flex. Point. Flex. Point. Flex. Point. Flex. Point. Five more. Flex. Point. Flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point. Flex again, bend your right knee, step the foot down, and lower all the way down. Separate your feet wider, about mat swift distance. Separate your feet, and then windshield wiper your knees side to side. All right, come back to center. Step the feet back in about hip width distance. Let's take the other side. Press your heels down, lift the feet up, and hold it here in the bridge. If you have interlace your hands underneath you, go ahead and interlace again and set up for a strong bridge. All 
All right, this time, step the right heel down, draw the left knee in, raise your left leg up. Flex your left foot strongly, then point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex. Point is five, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point. One more, flex, point. Flex again, bend your left knee, step the left foot down, release your hands, and then lower all the way down. Step your feet out, about not swift distance again, and then windshield wiper your knees side to side. All right, come back to stillness, draw the knees in, and then roll forward and come into your down dog. Pedal out your legs. <clears throat> All right, come back to stillness, your down dog. Inhale, raise your right leg up, three like a dog. Draw the right knee in toward the nose and round the spine. Kick it up, open up the head, span the right knee. Right knee to the outside of the right arm and touch. Kick it back up. Knee comes into twist, touch your left arm. Kick it back up. Step the right foot forward, warrior one. Left hand to catch your right wrist, extend up and side bending to your left. Take it back up to center, switch hands, extend, side bending to the right. Take it back to center, wrap the hands back behind you, interlace, lift up, gaze up. And then bow forward, devotional warrior. Take it back up, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Side angle. Extend the side angle, left palm to face down and reach it forward. Half bind, left arm up and behind you. Let your shoulders back. If you want the full bind, take the full bind, right arm underneath. And begin to release, come back up, reverse warrior. And then hands to the floor, right foot stepping back plank. Inhale, one breath, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Left knee in toward the nose. Kick it up, open up the head, span the left knee. Left knee outside the left arm in touch. Kick it back up. Knee comes into twist. Kick it back up. Step the left foot forward. Warrior one. Take the right hand to catch your left wrist. Extend. I bend to the right. Take it back up to center, switch hands, extend, side bend to your left. Take it back up to center, wrap the hands back behind you, take the non-dominant interlacing of your hands, lift up and gaze upward. Bow forward, devotional warrior.
Take it back up, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Side angle. Extended side angle, right arm to reach forward. Half pine, right arm up behind you. And then staying there or take a full bind, left arm underneath and behind you to catch the other hand. Lift up, lean back and back your shoulders. Come back to one straight line from the crown of the head through the right heel the best you can. Right, if you're tight in the hips or your shoulders, you may not be able to get to that straight line, but just keep actively leaning back. All right, start to release, come up, reverse warrior, hands to the floor, left foot stepping back, plank, inhale one breath, exhale, chaturanga, inhale up dog, exhale, down dog, inhale, right heel up, Exhale, right knee in toward the nose. So draw the nose in toward the knee strongly around the spine. Lift high up on your left tiptoes and hold it for another three. Two, one. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the right knee and stay here. Stack your hips. Right knee actively reaching up, left heel strongly reaching down. Raise your right leg back up, fall in triangle. Right leg over to the left side and lift. Reach your left arm forward to the front of the room, get lengthy through your left side and stay strong and sustain with the right arm. And lower the seat all the way down, fall in, try, uh, fall in warrior shape. All right, so you're on the outside of the right foot, inside of the left. Right hand to floor for support, left arm reaching forward. And you can bend your left elbow to soften your left arm and soften your fingers. On the inhale, draw the left elbow back to wind it up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, draw the left elbow back. Twist to the right. So, Cindy, you can soften your elbows a little bit. But yeah. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist. Two more. Draw back. Twist. Draw back. Twist and stay twisting. Press strongly into your right hand for the resistance so that with that, twist a little bit deeper. Release. Step the left hand down. Tuck the left toes under. Kick the right leg up, three-legged dog. Step the right foot forward, warrior one. Bend your right elbow, left hand to right elbow. Side bend to your left. Take it back up, release, switch arms, side bend to the right. Release, back to center, hands to the hips. Draw the elbows back, lift your chest and gaze up. Come back to neutral, go the opposite direction. Elbows forward, shoulders forward, and round the mid and upper back, chin toward the chest. Come back to neutral, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Land turn front leg and reach up. Bend the front knee, warrior two. Lengthen the front leg, reach up. Bend the front knee, warrior two. Lengthen and reach up. Warrior two, triangle. Lengthen out the right leg. Right hand to top of the shin or to the floor. Left arm reaching up. Extended triangle, left palm to face down and reach it forward. Half spine, left arm up and behind you. Stack your shoulders, lean the upper torso back. Q 
Keep the half bind, come up, reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, right foot stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Left knee in towards the nose and hold that. Come high up on your right tiptoes, knee in towards the nose, strongly. So you're really rounding your back for the core work. For another three, two, one. Kick it up, open up the hips and bend the left knee. Stay here, stacking of the hips. Left knee is reaching up, right heel is reaching down. Re-extend the left leg, fall in triangle. Left leg over to the right side. Lift the hips up high. Reach your right hand forward to the front of the room. Fallen warrior. Take the seat down. Left leg is on the outside of the left foot. Inside the right. Legs are roughly 90 degrees. Take the left hand to the floor for support. Reach your right arm out. Bend your right elbow. Maybe your fingers are also soft. Inhale, draw the uh, sand, the other arm. Switch arm. Yeah. Draw the right arm back and twist to your left. Draw the right arm back. Twist to your left. Draw the right arm back. Twist. Two more. Draw the right arm back. Twist. Draw the right arm back. Twist and stay here. Press strongly into your left hand. Using our resistance to give you more ability to twist deeper. Release. Right hand comes down. Tuck the right toes under. Raise your left leg up. Three like a dog. Step the left foot forward. Warrior one. Bend your left elbow. Right hand to your left elbow. Side bending to the right. Take it back to center. Re-extend, switch arms, side bend to your left. Take it back up again, warrior one, open it up, warrior two. Length your front leg and reach up. Bend the front knee, warrior two. Length and reach up, warrior two. Length and reach up. Warrior two, triangle pose. Lengthen out the left leg, left hand to top the shin or to the floor, and then the right arm reaching up. Extend it, right palm to face down and reach forward. Half bind, right arm up and behind you, stack your shoulders. Inhale, take it all the way back up, reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, left foot stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Start to walk your feet forward toward your hands, come to the front of the mat. Feet together, knees together, bend the knees. Take it up for chair, hands together in prayer, twist to the right, hook the left arm to outer right knee, twist the chair. You may remain here or work on your side crow to the left side. All right, start to break, come back to center, chair. Then stepping on the left foot, take up the right knee, tree pose. Now once you connect with your balance, 
you can take whatever variation you like. Right? So if you're just a beginner, and you're working with the basics, perhaps you stay here. Now for those of you who have tight hips and having your foot this high is really throwing off the balance, you might want to go a little bit lower, uh, below the knee. So either above the knee or below the knee. If even below the knee is difficult, you can always take your right toes to the floor and press into the inner left leg. This way, you have a little bit more uh, leverage for balancing. For those of you taking additional options, it could be a heart opener wrapping the hands back behind you. You can challenge your balance and side bend to the right. So right arm to right leg, left arm overhead. Notice you have to move your hips to your left side to counterbalance the weight going to the right. All right, let's finish up and make your way back to your tree, arms up. Draw the right knee forward, step the right foot down, chair. Wrap the hands back behind you, interlace. Lift up, gaze up, and then dive forward, knuckles up and overhead. Crow pose, release your hands to the floor, about a foot and a half forward, shoulders width. Bring the arms back, shift to your tiptoes. Knees to the back of the arms, gaze to the floor slightly ahead of you, and as you tip forward, once your elbows line up over your wrists, maybe you're light enough to take the feet off the floor. Right? Really important for you to keep stable by pressing firmly into your hands and let the uh, fingers be wide. Nice and slow and the shift forward. Right? So it's not about throwing the weight forward and hoping for the best, but slowly shifting so that the hands can learn to leverage the weight of the body. Right? Making all those calculations. All right, when you're ready, walk it back to your down dog. Right leg up, three leg a dog. Step the right foot forward between your hands, left knee comes down. Crescent moon. You can take extra padding to your left knee if you have your blankets or your towels, or if you don't have any equipment, you can also take your uh, mat and roll it left side towards center to double up your mat. Once you have that, lunge your hips forward. Get into the stretch of the quads, hip flexors. Press your hands into your thighs, lean the upper torso back. So maybe this is good enough for you today. If you're ready to take the full expression of the pose, Clap the hands of Venus Mudra, and up and back. Now for those of you where your arms joined this far back is very difficult for you because your shoulders are tight, arms can go straight up, arms can go forward. You also have the option of separating your hands, right? You can go parallel or you can go wider, higher, further back. So all those are good options, take whatever you like. If you have additional variation in your crescent moon, go ahead and start to take it. Perhaps you want to go for another heart opener, wrapping the hands back behind you. Right? If you take side bending, right arm to right leg, left arm overhead, or go the opposite direction, side bending to your left. Right? Those of you going for binding, mermaids, bend your left knee, grab the foot, kick it back as you reach your right arm up and back. You have three more breaths. All righty, start to finish up. Take the hands to either side of the right foot. Tuck the left toes under for your pyramid. So you're looking to lengthen out the front leg, the right leg for the hamstring stretch. Now, if your hamstrings are tight, you have many options, right? You can always keep the right knee slightly bent if you don't have any equipment, any blocks. If you have blocks, highly recommend it. 
take the blocks to either side of the right foot. So here you can extend the right leg because you've extended your arms, right? Um, you also can take one block, a water bottle, or a book, right? And that works more or less the same. All right, let's break. Bend your right knee, ground the back heel. Circle it up. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Chaturanga, dog down dog. Start to walk. Your feet forward toward your hands. Front of the mat, feet together, knees together. Then bend the knees, take it up, chair. Hands together in prayer, twisting to your left, hook the right arm to our left knee, hands together in prayer, and twist. Make sure your knees stay lined up, so check. You may stay here or expand your arms or work on your side crows that you like. If you're taking side crows, hands to your left side, I usually take it slightly wider than uh, shoulders width. And then you're going to keep the elbows bent, meaning the weight of your legs into your outer right arm. And try to run the arm. All right, square back to center. Come back up to chair. Stepping on the right foot, pick up the left. Tree pose. Open up the knee to the left side. So try to go with the left foot above the knee joint if you can, or below the knee joint. Hands together in prayer, arms up and out in a wide position. So if you need a little bit more help, you can always press your left toes to the floor for a little bit more leverage and weight. Once you have your balance and your tree pose is set, you may remain here or work on the variations you took on the first side. Maybe some of you took the hands back behind you. If you're taking the hands back behind you interlacing, take the other thumb on top so you show non-dominant interlacing of your hands. If you're going side bending, left arm to left leg, right arm over the head. And then if you have other options, go ahead and take have a few more breaths here. And beginning to finish up, make your way back to your tree. And raise the arms up high, draw the left knee forward, step the left foot down chair, and wrap the hands back behind you. Take the other interlacing of your hands, so your non-dominant interlacing again, broaden to look up, and then lengthen to dive forward, knuckles up and overhead. Raise your hands, bend your knees, second crow pose. Now, if you have a crow pose into a headstand and want to try for that, go ahead and take it. Otherwise, stay with um, a crow pose or working toward a crow pose with your toes on the floor. All right. When you're ready to make your way back, walk or jump back, chaturanga up dog down dog.
left leg up. Step the left foot forward, crescent moon, right knee comes down, so take extra padding to your right knee as you need. Hands to top to thighs, lunging forward. Then either staying here with your hands supporting, or when you're ready, take the arms up for Venus Mudra. And again, once you have a set and you have a few breaths in, if you took additional variations, take it. If you took modifications, again, right, if your shoulders are tight and having your arms this far back is difficult, right, you can keep your Venus Mudra and shoot your energy straight up or forwards at an angle. Also, remember, you can separate your hands, shoulders width parallel, or a little bit wider if you need it. And they can change whatever angle you want. Right, so all of this to come accommodate for tight shoulders or maybe even shoulder injuries, right? To work with what you got. If you're wrapping your hands back behind you for the variations, take the non-dominant thumb on top, side bending left, side bending right, mermaids. Grabbing the uh, outside of the right foot with your right hand and then kicking back in space, which stretches your right arm and draws the right shoulder back. And this leaning back of the torso is actually a counterbalance, right? Because your hips are moving forward, upper torso leaning back gives you the side bend and the back bend. Right? This is a counterbalance to bring you to a place where you're nice and steady. Otherwise, you're going to keep feeling like you're leaning forward, right? So you want to kick it back and lean it back. All right. Let's begin to break. Hands to either side of the left foot, tuck the back toes, and take the pyramid. So again, use your blocks or some sort of props uh, for elevation, uh, lengthening of the arms, basically, right? Or if you don't have any props, bend your left knee instead. All right, let's break. Bend your left knee, ground the back heel. Circle it up, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Hands to the floor, chaturanga up, dog down dog. All right, so let's take pigeon, right leg up. Right knee in towards the nose, land the shin to the floor. Inch your left knee for the back. Untuck the back toes, walk your hands back, elongate through the spine. Make sure pelvis level, spine straight. Once you have that measured out, go ahead and take it forward to your forward fold. And once you have a few breaths in, your choice to stay here for a simple passive forward fold in your pigeon. If you like your variations, take whatever you like. Um, you can twist to the right by threading the left arm underneath, maybe right hand behind you to your lower back, or bind the right hand to the right big toe in your big toe off. You can also go the opposite direction. Move the right heel further up, so that your shin is closer to parallel the front of the mat, make sure you flex your right foot. Then, hook the right tricep to solve the right foot, and hands together in prayer to twist. If you like your mermaids, go ahead and start binding again for your mermaid.
All righty, let's start to finish. If you're taking a variation, start to break and make your way back up. Tuck the left toes under and press it back to the down dog. Walk it out side to side. All right, come back to stillness, second side. Left leg up, left knee in toward the nose, line the shin to the floor. Inch your right knee further back, untuck the toes, walk your hands back, elongate through the spine. Make sure, pelvis level, spine pretty straight. And then you're ready to draw forward, staying on your forearms and making pillows with your hands. All right, and then when you're ready to take your variations, go ahead and repeat what you did on the first side. Okay, so if you twisted, if you went the other direction, right, so it's important to move the heel slightly further forward and flex your foot. Unless you're not flexible enough, then it could be a little bit less, uh, less severe and a little bit further back, right? But with your foot further back, it will be harder for you to make the connection between your tricep and your foot because your foot is actually further away from you. You're going to have to curve deeper in order to touch your foot. That's the reason why having your heel a little bit higher for the shin to parallel the front of the mat makes it easier when you angle to the side and hook the back on. And then if you took your mermaids. I think that made a, a little bit of a difference when you move the leg a little bit wider. That made it, uh, that made the triangle a little bit wider, gave you better stability. All right, let's start to break. Walk your hands back in, tuck the right toes under and step it back to the down dog. Walk it out side to side. All righty, when you're ready, walk your feet forward toward your hands and take the feet down. Extend the legs forward with your hands supporting to either side. Slide the hands out and lower onto your back. Left knee comes in and twist to the right.
Take it back to center, switch legs, switch arms, and a twist to the left. And back to center again, hugging both knees in. And then when you're ready, step the feet to the floor, sliding the legs forward, Shavasana for a relaxation. Feet are separated, toes turned out, arms alongside, body pops face up, let it all go. Begin to draw the breath back in and start to move the fingers and the toes. Reach the arms overhead, stretching in opposite direction. And when you're ready, roll over to the right side and come up to a comfortable cross-legged position. Reconnecting to an even seat, a lengthy Fine, shoulders broad, rest deep, and let the neck be free. Inhale from together in prayer, bowing forward, feeling the practice. You know, come up. Namaste, everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. I appreciate your time. Please visit my, my website again, Simha Yoga Lab, sorry, simhayoga.com for the full streaming schedule as well as my payment information for Venmo and for PayPal. Venmo is my preferred way of payment and my handle is Simha Yoga Lab. And the four-digit ID code is 8096 if you're prompted for verification. Costs are $10. If you're having a difficult time, $5 is fine. Please do the best you can. And I'm streaming on Instagram and on Facebook. And I am uploading the videos to my YouTube channel, Simpa Yoga Lab. Visit any of those platforms for practice anytime. Thank you again for your time. Be well. Take care. I'll see you soon.